have um, um, expenses or get some type of, um, of, of funding on a weekly basis, we need you to have your receipts in by that, of the, on the first day of the business week. That's the, 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 the business week, once again, is Monday through Sunday. So we're expecting your previous week's receipts to come in on Monday. And Anna has the rest of the uh, accounting. Um, right now, we have $76 in our cash box. In our credit union account, we have $3,697.80. In our WePay account, we have $3,316.87. We haven't received any new donations in our WePay account since December 12th. Uh, what we have available right now is $7,090.66. Um, accounting has checks now, so if you want money, it'll be in the form of a check, unless you can give a reasonable explanation as to why. Um, there are groups that have weekly budgets, which are logistics, food, transportation costs. When Iris Riverdale and media transportation costs. Um, the accounting committee and I are going to um, write checks for the next two weeks due to holidays, so everyone will have their funds. But of course, we still need receipts. But we're going to cover the next two weeks expenses, so there will be no questions about those budget details. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Do you know if the it's Riverdale, I mean, that $60 a week, is going to be continuing or is that stopping from the point? Yeah, we're also working on on a structure for fundraising. So uh, we haven't received any new funds in the, in the WePay account, like she said, since December 12th. And we're working on a fundraising mechanism, so that's soon to come. Uh, I have a clear question. <laughs> I have a clarifying question. Um, so, is there a meeting being held with these fundraisers? Well, this fundraiser mechanism, like, will be like a sub, maybe a subcommittee to actually, this is their job to fundraise. We have other organizations that have folks, this is, that's, that's their, that's what they do as a profession, want to help us out with fundraising, but we have to have a mechanism to fundraise, so we work that structural part of it. Point of process. I apologize, good sir. Um, I didn't hear an answer to Jonah's question. I'm sorry. Is there a meeting the, uh, that is to be held soon for, uh, for fundraising? Um, I would say it will probably be during, during the normal accounting meeting until we have enough people to support it. Which those meetings are from Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 p.m. But a topic at the finance meeting that probably will be discussed is will we want to have meetings for the next meeting now? how it is. <coughs> Uh, that concludes staff for committee report backs. Uh, at this time, we'll be moving into committee related proposals. Oh, sorry. Chapter needs to say one more thing about the home defense thing. Um, we just officially got an email. So if you do have, like, if people get in contact with you and want to know how to get in touch with the home defense committee, or if you want to get in touch with the home defense committee, um, the email is hdefense at occupyatlanta.org. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we have a quick clarifying question. Um, do we have a live stream at the old fourth word also? Only if we have the no, not all the time. We don't have the capabilities for live stream. I mean, we have the capabilities to somebody that can run it. Do you have a point of information? I'll be doing that from here on out. Um, I got all of the I got all the information for that. Um, I have a computer for it here all the time, so I will be trying to upkeep that. But Definitely would always like, would always appreciate with you. I'll be, I'll be live streaming. We have another point of information. Or a clarifying question. For Lily, do you have to have the video equipment, madam? I'm using a computer, yeah, that has a webcam on it. I'm sorry, okay. Yeah, so I have one of those. Gotcha. Thank you. All right, so again, uh, that concludes our section for committee report backs. We'll now be moving to committee related proposals. At this time, we have one committee-related proposal from Outreach. Okay, I'm doing the proposal for Outreach. Uh, we're asking for quite a large sum of money, so we want to present it to uh, the GA. Uh, let me preface this by saying, hey guys. 
Um, let me preface this by saying um, outreach hasn't really spent a lot of money at all. And if we don't outreach, we don't grow people. If we don't grow people, we can't bring in more money. So we see this as necessary to help grow the movement. Uh, the two things that we're asking for, uh, we had an idea come in to get yard signs. And outreach started thinking about this, started talking about it. Um, and we thought yard signs are an amazing tool because your people are putting this in their own front yard. Jack puts it in his front yard. Jack's friend Bob drives by his house, doesn't know anything about Occupy Atlanta. He's like, man, Jack's got an Occupy Atlanta sign. My kids go to school with his kids, we go to the same church. Maybe, maybe there's something to it. I'm gonna check out Occupy Atlanta. They check out the site, we've got something there. So it's a really strong way of someone self-identifying with, with our movement and other people being interested because of that self-identification. So um, we search all over for yard signs. Um, they're very expensive, relatively. Um, a yard sign that has been printed and um, on two sides with one color, with a yard sign, one of those coroplast signs that'll hold up through all weather, and a stake at the cheapest we could find is 260 each one. Um, so we kind of went away from that idea, and we're just going to get blank signs that we can stencil ourselves. A lot cheaper, a lot more diverse message. We can kind of offer it to the neighborhood, to the community, all that. And we think we can do it pretty professionally, and it'll have like the Occupy flair to it. So, um, um, the cheapest we could find is about $1.20 a sign uh, we, with steak. So we found 500 yard signs for $760 shipped to our door. Um, I'm certainly up for alterations of that amount. If y'all want to do less and see how it goes, we can do that too. Um, and it, it'll be about the same price, it'll go up a little bit. Do you want to start answering these questions? Okay, um, and that's the first thing, $760, and um, we have designers for the signs, and we have people who are familiar with making stencils, and we'll make them look good. That's one thing. Buttons, um, as far as kids actually, people actually wearing them, putting them on their bags, it's just more easier to do. Um, we have many, many, many small button designs. Um, already done and what we found on that is for the machine and a thousand buttons two hundred and ninety dollars uh, a thousand buttons all the supplies and the button machine so all we need for the first a thousand buttons final point before I restate the proposal is on all these things we'll be asking for donations if it seems like it's right like when we give a yard sign if it was a good conversation they say we want a yard sign we say okay and no big deal but would you be willing to donate five bucks if it looks like it's right. So we'll try to recoup some of this money as well. So to restate the final proposal before we discuss it, outreach requests $760 for 500 Coroplast yard signs with stakes, plus $290 for a one inch button maker with a thousand button uh, for supplies, totaling $1,050 for outreach. And also outreach has already discussed this and we decided as a committee that this was our proposal. At this time, we'll be taking stack for clarifying questions. We have David, Ron Allen, NBA. <laughs> Is there anyone else that'd like to be placed on stack for clarifying questions? At this time, stack is closed. Stack is closed for clarifying questions. The stack is David and Ron. David? Thank you, Matt. Um, Sir, I, I, of course, I do trust your committee to move wisely on behalf of our interests, but it's also true, considering my claim that plastic signs tend to bleed out chemicals in such a way as to often push paints away from the plastic surface, have you tested the longevity of a screen printed design on this plastic? If not, might you want to test such in weather conditions for a week before you actually spend the money? I have not, and that's a great idea. Um, you do it maybe with the hose too, you know, but um, spray paint is made to stick, and it sticks for a long time, and uh, the city can't remove it from walls without painting over it. So I don't know how it would work with the plastic, but we figure it will be, uh, it will stay. But if anyone else has better information on that, great. Did you have a point of information? They make spray paint for plastic. It's made for like plastic chairs. 
things like that. They advertise it as staying bright in all colors. So if it sticks to like something really slick, like a, a plastic yard chair, I'm pretty sure we could get it to work for a plastic sign. Um, I do have one other point of information. We can also seal it after we're done to make sure it's more weather protected. Um, uh, did you have a big softy? Oh, sorry, I apologize. Soft. Yes, uh, Mike Tech. Mike Tech. Uh, action, action Committee. Action Committee. And uh, Outreach Committee. And outreach outreach committee. committee. We'll be doing workshops. We'll be doing we'll be workshops. Doing workshops. On, um, art related. On art related. Art -related. Uh, subjects. So, subjects. Bear with me. I, I, as a point of information, I'd like to reiterate that I, I did make a request that we do a test first before spending the money. I will agree with that, and you can add it to a friendly amendment. Just for further, for, uh, for clarification, friendly amendments will be addressed during the concerns slash friendly amendments uh, section. At this time, we're only taking clarifying questions to the proposal. Ron? Yeah, with this uh, clarifying question, have you considered maybe doing it in stages? Cause uh, like a thousand plus dollars is like more than a third of what we have in our in our actual account. So say for instance, if uh, if uh, if it's a thousand plus dollars, maybe we buy the button machine, which is a little cheaper. Make a few dollars on that to help pay subsidize the cost of. Uh, I'm just saying, have you have you thought about staging that? Because that's fine with me too. I, I was under the impression that we had seven thousand. Yeah. And if we're not spending money on outreach, what are yeah, we spending okay, money no, on? I mean, we want effective outreach tools to grow the movement. Yeah, one is in we pay, one is in actual account. And and the thing is, we hadn't received any donations since December 12th. So I'm saying, so until we kind of start, you know, picking it up a little bit, I'm just saying, just something to consider. <laughs> Did you want to address that? Or? Okay. Uh, we have a point of information. Um, advertising rings in months, quite simply. We're not advertising enough. You have to spend money to make money. I know that sounds cliche, but it's kind of true. And actually posting that up and advertising it, we may, have been, we may, we may not be able to physically occupy their yards, but we may not be able to physically occupy their yards, but doing so through, most, like, through means of advertising will bring attention for one. Two, as Matt said, going forward and asking for donations, which I'm sure will happen. And three, Advertising, building awareness will in turn bring in funds. Because right now the awareness isn't there, and this is a means to get that awareness. It definitely is a good idea. I'm just saying, we're about to bail out copper, and and that's that's a large sum of money. Uh, Separate sure. funds. What a process. Okay. Uh, that sounds like a concern. Okay, okay. Right. Address I that. I'll get it. I'll get it all. <laughs> The, the final thing about that is, like you said, we have not been actively pursuing money for a long time. We started actively pursuing money, we were getting $600 a day every day in the park. We can do this. We just haven't made that a priority. We need to start, you know. All right, that's it. Uh, so this time we'll be moving into taking tech for concerns. Uh, concerns are also a place where you would be able to, to address uh, not just what, what issues you have with it, but also any support you may have with it. Furthermore, you may, if you have an issue, you may also counteract that with a friendly amendment. Any friendly uh, so, added. We got, are you taking a stack or are you taking? Okay. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to circle in order. Uh, we've got Daniel, Tim, Robert, Ron Allen, and Lily. Big Softy. Friendly amendment. Is there anyone else that would like to be placed on stack for concerns? <laughs> It is time stack will be closed. Stack is closed for concerns and friendly amendment. The stack reads Daniel, Tim, Robert, Ron, Lily, and Softy. Daniel? I strongly support we, that we spend uh, money on outreach. We've had $7,000 in our account for a very long time. And why aren't we spending this money? If I were a potential donor, I wouldn't give money to us either because we're not spending it on anything. I mean, there's a a possibility that the movement could lose steam and we'd still have this money sitting in the account. You know, we need to take advantage of this while we still can. Tim? Yes, Mike? Oh, real quick, can we circle up a little better, guys? Can we just open up the circle some? Or how are we gonna open it up? Right here, back up a few steps, maybe. Thank you. Right Got a black shirt. Sorry, Ben Sorry, Tim. Go ahead. Uh, you know, my concern is that uh, we hadn't done this sooner. Um, you know, and every every uh, every one of these home occupations we've been in, we've been in three neighborhoods. 
day one we go through in Canvas, and when they find out why we're there, every <laughs> single one of them, almost every single one of them, is super supportive. It would have been a moment to stick a sign in. So from here on out, I want to have the signs like available. We still got another home occupation. We're still in Riverdale. We can get these signs out. And uh, you know, the Occupy movement, we, as you all know, we move a million miles an hour, right? I, you know, it's not like I want to spend all of our money today, but uh, we got this money now. Let's put it into the movement. Let's build the movement. We got to spend some money to do that. So I'm really supportive of it. I'm concerned that it hadn't been done sooner. Robert? I was just going to say, um, I believe the designs haven't been completely thought out yet. And I was hoping, and this was addressed at the outreach meeting, someone mentioned it the other day. Maybe we should start with a smaller number of signs. I don't know, 200, 300. So that way we can test out some designs or something, or you know, we know how much we can get out there effectively. Because 500 seemed like a high number to some people. So that's my only concern. Do you have a point of information? I thought that they're gonna be blank, so you can design them any way you choose. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I know. Yeah, that can but be I done mean, in time. I mean, they're, they're blank, but I assume that we're going to have designs that we're going to stencil on most of them. And we, even though if we have 500, we don't know if there's a demand for 500 right off the bat. We can always buy more if need be. Why not start out with 200 or something? We have a point of information? Yes, um, we have plenty of paper. Um, the workshops that I mentioned earlier are going to be for error as well as uh, perfection. I hate using that word, but... Uh, <laughs> The, um, the workshops are going to be to help people to design their own signs. Everybody can come to the workshop. We have a clarifying question. Will these be bought in bulk or are they bought in... And is the price tied to the bulk sale? Nice. Did you want to address anything? That's, that's it. The price will probably just go up a little bit. Um, I searched nationally for several days, found a dude in, in Accra, Georgia, or somewhere down South Georgia, south of Macon, that has them for the cheapest, like eBay, Amazon, like everything. So we're going with that dude, and uh, it's a good price. It might be close to the same. Um, he hasn't given me the price on smaller amounts yet, uh, but that could be an amendment if you want to add that. All right, Ron? Well, before we move forward, did you want to propose that as a friendly amendment? I mean... I, it kind of just depends on the general temperature. People think that a thousand is enough. <laughs> they're willing to spend a thousand, or if they want to spend less, I would. So Seven hundred sixty for this for that portion. Be a, th a thousand <coughs> fifty total for that in the butter machine, right? Exactly. So, if you like, if you'd like me, you can take a temperature check on it. Okay, let's yeah, finish, finish that, that first. Let's finish that. Apologize. All right, Ron. Oh, I like first of all, say I'm in total agreement with the with the whole deal. I just would like to see the um, the, the purchases stack, um, uh, and then like 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 Dave said, do a prototype to see, make sure all of our ideas come together and it all works before we invest that much money. And, and, it, and then what was did you know what was the per unit cost? When, when you go from 500 to the next wrong below that? Yeah, divide. Oh, no, 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 I do not. Um, this is just some dude with access to these, not like a major company, but it's cheaper than all major companies. So, for this right now. Yeah. Can't do it right now. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's just my friendly, friendly amendment before we like, finalize everything. Can you restate your friendly amendment? Friendly amendment is. If we can stack, I got sure. a couple of friends with it. Yeah. I, I like to just do it individually and see what the folks think about. First one is stack on their purchases. Like we know for certain the, the buttons, that's that's all rip. Let's knock that out. But with the uh with the with the all weather signs, what's the next wrong, wrong couple of wrongs below that for a per unit cost to see it to make sure we got a prototype. All these ideas great. Well, it actually happened. Once we invested, it's invested. If it don't work out, yeah, kind of stuff. So I would love to see like a few prototypes, and then let's go full, full, full. Other bottom liners, so, yeah, Can you briefly state your friendly amendment? Can you write it in the, in the proposal? One is stagger the purchases. Okay. Immediately go for it. Get the buttons. Two is 
come up with the per unit cost for the next room from down, like say if I go from 500 to 300 to 250 to 100. Right. What's those per unit costs? Once we know that, decide on how, what level we want to buy in and do a prototype. A couple, let's see if we can get set. Okay, that's get get prototype. Get go, get the the rooms per unit cost, and then we decide on the amount. Three is get samples so we can do prototypes to make sure it works. I'm certain certain the guy was saying like a sample or two if we plan on buying on that bulk so we can make sure it works. Um, but I believe we have a clarifying question for your, for your friendly amendment. Thank you. Ron, are you suggesting that as part of one of these certainly amendments that we purchase a couple of the equivalent model and brand of sign from let's say the likes of a home improvement store? Are you suggesting we buy a couple of those now? This equivalent to the same kind of sign that he's we're considering and test it out on those two or three? No, what I'm saying is from that guy, whoever was the vendor, we want that chemical, whatever plastic that is, to make sure it works the way we think it's gonna work. And that guy, he'll sell you one or two or three or, or give them samples so we'll make sure the paint sticks like 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 we said, the stencils work, and then let's go full force for it. Whatever at whatever wrong level we choose. We have point of process. I was just gonna ask you if you still believe that this is a friendly amendment we're speaking of, or is this a new proposal? I'm saying I'm full I love the idea, so I'm in I'm in, it's a friendly amendment. I love the idea we should go forward, but how we go forward is I'm making that friendly amendment part. I agree. Um, we have more information. Huh? So, been listening and um, speak up. Speak up. Speak up. Yeah, um, I suggest that. Can you mic check because I can't. Mic check. Mic check. I suggest that. Um, I suggest, I suggest that. that. You start out small. Start, start out small. small. Since you are already getting it for cheap, yeah. you're already, you're already getting, getting it for cheap. cheap. You build from there. Says yeah. one more thing. Plus on the assumption that if it has been coming in, they gotta be the best route to go. Keep it simple. Just, uh, just to clarify, a point of information is a, is a place where we express a factual piece of information. It is not a place to express an opinion. Uh, if you have a point of information, I can call on you, but it does not take presence of the speaker. Um, okay, we'll move forward in stack. Really? All right, uh, mic check. Mic check. I don't need people's mic. I just wanted to make sure you're all here. All right, um, first. One of the things I want to say was my concern. The advertising I'm seeing now on behalf of Occupy Atlanta all comes from OWS. I would like to see more Occupy Atlanta advertisements, which is awesome. I love we stand solidarity with OWS, support them fully. We need more Occupy Atlanta advertisements. Um, also, you know, like I would, I appreciate like all the concerns. I would ask that before we pile on all these things, like let's not be so conservative to the point that we end up spending nothing, or that we end up like preventing ourselves from actually taking action. It's awesome, but all, like, but you know, I, I doubt that we need to get really, really like crazy conservative with the way that we're doing this. Um, also, keep in mind that these are blank and that these can be changed and that it's not that they can be used in many different ways and altered to each com like each community. We don't need to be afraid to spend money. We don't need to keep holding on to it. Let me also add that let's let's, let's relate this back in terms of a healthy economy. To promote an economy, you have to put money in. You don't have a not to relate back to one percent behavior, but spend money to like to promote healthy action. So it's okay. We have, like you said, we've had this money in our account for a really long time. We shouldn't be afraid to spend it. It will come back. Uh, also, we've been doing the like exactly. You know, we need to change up our tactics. We need to do something different. This is a chance to do that. And uh, I'm just like Tim said. My concern is that we didn't do it sooner, and we need to have more preoccupied stuff. So Atlanta stuff. We should more pride in our own movement. All right. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, do you have a clarifying question? Yes, sir. I have a clarifying question for the facilitator. Yes, sir. Is it is it would it be appropriate now, sir, um, for us to request that Matt restate his proposal with the, with the friendly amendment attached, if he agrees with that, and to call for a temperature check thereupon? Uh, one more person on stack. We have one more person on stack, and then and then it may be appropriate for that. Yes, sir. Softy. 
Yeah, um, so this summer I made buttons. Uh, I used the same button maker that you guys have probably seen in Occupy Atlanta. Um, if you guys didn't notice, the tall guy over there is my brother. We're related, so uh, uh, we made the same buttons with the same button maker. And uh, I just wanted a friendly amendment to add to this. I, I brought up an outreach uh, meeting, but I'll kind of try to restate it because uh, I speak abstractly sometimes. Uh, we have a lot of labor right now. Which, what I mean by that is free labor. All of us are willing to do artwork, and I believe it'll be better and more efficient to get either two or three button makers, actually. So I, want, I would like, as a friendly amendment, to increase the amount of money. It's not going to be as much as the signs, so it wouldn't be that much of an increase. So my friendly amendment is three button makers versus just one, so that we can make 3,000 buttons and get more donations. Is that a friendly amendment, sir? Yes. So my friendly amendment, along with whatever he restates next, is an increase in the amount, if he accepts this friendly amendment, an increase in the amount so we can get a few more button makers. Okay. Um, at this time, we'll present the friendly amendments to the proposer and see how he personally feels about them. If he chooses, he may actually relieve this responsibility to the group in which we can do a temperature check. Uh, the friendly amendments, as uh, as as transcribed, if the minute taker would like to recite them. Uh, yeah. The friendly amendments from Ron. Bobby, and, sir. Sorry. Uh, on the friendly Mike amendments check. from Ron and from Softy. You might check. Also a friendly Big amendment. Exactly. Did I miss? Uh, oh, did you also have a friendly amendment, or was it? I'd rather just get a temperature check on how people feel about uh, spending a thousand dollars, so we know. So we can't. That'll be, that'll be the time when we actually go for the proposal. Um, yeah. So, as far as I know, those are the only two friendly amendments we have. Um, if we could mic check it, please. Okay, mic check. Mic check. check. Ron's friendly amendment. Ron's, Ron's friendly, friendly amendment. Is in three parts. Is, is in three, three parts. parts. One. 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 Stagger purchases. Stagger, Stagger purchases. purchases. Two. 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 Acquire a price, or sorry, acquire a per unit cost. Acquire per, per unit, unit cost of the signs, of the signs before, before deciding, deciding the quantity of the purchase. The quantity of the purchase. Three, three, three produce, produce a prototype, a prototype of the signs, of the signs before, before, before fully committing, fully committing to investing. To investing. Okay. Yeah. And then the other friendly amendment from this one. Okay. Am I still doing a mic check for softies? Sure. Yes. 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 Okay. I love it. Softies. 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 Friendly, amendment. Friendly amendment. Friendly amendment is is increase increase the allotted funds the allotted funds to outreach to outreach so so that they can purchase so they can purchase three three butt makers butt makers instead instead of one of one. That's, as that's a proposer, you have the ability to decide as to whether you choose to accept these friendly amendments or to pass them along to the group or to decline them. All right. Um, I would like to decline softies uh, for now. Uh, maybe that will be a good thing to do later, but I've made the buttons and I can make them pretty fast. And if we can just pass them off to each other. And if you plan three days ahead, then you make enough without having to spend all that extra money for now. Okay, cool. <laughs> And uh, I think we kind of have conflicting views of whether we should go all in now or wait. I don't think it's going to be much different cost to wait. So I suggest that we decrease the number of purchases to 250 instead of 500, which will cut the cost approximately in half. So uh, I think that oh, and I'll incorporate the prototype idea into the proposal when I read it. Um, so we have a clarifying question. How much do you think that it would uh, create, like, since you said that because you're buying them in bulk and that's what's driving the prices down, how much money would we be losing by doing the cutting in half? We have a point of information? All right. Um, like, like she said, buying things in bulk are cheaper. Oftentimes, I think that even buying them in bulk now, may the fear is that we're going to that we could save money. In essence, this is really cheap. 
believe me, as someone, if we think about it, it's very, very cheap in comparison to what it could be. You probably can't find a much like any cheaper than this. In essence, we'd probably only be losing fifty to a hundred dollars. I don't know about you, but that is, I, to me, it is worth it to, to lose that money to go ahead and take action now, rather than delay it any further. So think about it that way. We've been putting this off. It's been months, and this is a great action. No, this is a great decision. We shouldn't put it off any further. If you're going to lose fifty to a hundred dollars, it's worth it. We'll gain that back in no time. Don't be afraid of losing pennies in it. So. Um, you have another clarifying question. I'm sorry, clarifying question for Lily. This this stated possible thirty to fifty dollars loss if we're buying five hundred in two separate bulk packages of two fifty. Is that based on factual knowledge or based on just experience that's not documented with fact? I'm sorry. Yes. Um, both and yeah, both and also let's uh. Yeah, no, I'm telling you. Yeah, both. Okay. All right. Well, I think we're getting a little bit off. Uh, Way off. Yeah, we're getting a little bit off of uh, off a of process. Uh, to come back to the proposal, uh, at this time we'll be taking a temperature check with the friendly amendments. Uh, if we can reiterate which ones have been approved by the proposer. Okay. So this is going to get uh, really complicated, but I think it kind of addresses everybody's points. I hope this is okay. Um, outreach re requests seven hundred sixty dollars for five hundred quarter plus yard signs and stakes. Only 380 if they are exactly half or within $20 of half the price. So if we'll give it to me for the same price, we'll do half for now. Uh, plus $290 for a one-inch button maker with a thousand buttons, totaling either 1,050 or 670, depending on the cost. Contingent upon producing a prototype that has been thoroughly tested and approved by outreach committee. Is that okay? So. I guess that's the temperature check then. Uh, this is time we'll be taking a temperature check for the proposal. Oh, yeah. uh, if you agree, fingers up. If you disagree, fingers down. So, yeah. is right. this for the 500 or the 250? It was both. It's all incorporated. It's everything. everything. Um, <laughs> you know, this time we'll be taking stand aside. Stand aside is when you, do, you necessarily degree. You disagree with the proposal, however, you don't disagree it enough to block. You're simply take, saying that your vote, uh, you're excluding your vote, so that way any blocks will have more power. Uh, do we have any stand asides for the proposal? We have one stand aside, and as facilitator, I will also stand aside. Says two. Point of process. I'm sorry? Point of process. Who has a point of process? Me. Uh, we have a point of process. Uh, when do we count how many people are included in the consensus? If we need to, we'll count in a second. If we have, if we have enough blocks, then we'll count. But otherwise, I'm not worried about it. Unless you feel like we really need to count. Uh, no. no. Okay, all right. Uh, then this time, we'll be taking counts of blocks. Uh, block is when you disagree with the proposal strongly enough that you feel that it is dangerous or that you'll be willing to... Uh, we have a point of process. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a facilitator. I was hoping everybody here. Go ahead, please. Thank you, David. Uh, at this time, we'll be taking counts for blocks. Blocks are uh, to be used if you feel the proposal is so dangerous that it would harm the group, or that you'd be willing to leave the group if the proposal were to pass. Do we have any blocks for the proposal as it stands? <laughs> so, seeing as there are no blocks, the proposal passes with 100% consensus. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Excellent. Uh, at this time, we have no other committee-related committee proposals, nor do we have any other proposals by individuals. Uh, if you'd like to submit a proposal, we ask that you do it at least one hour before General Assembly. You can uh, submit them either to process at OccupyAtlanta.org. There's a drop box in the Peachtree and Pine headquarters that you may drop off proposals. Uh, it also has to be in writing. We request that it's in writing, so that way we can document it and everything. Uh, or you could give it to somebody in process and we'll get it taken care of. Those in process would be like Trip, Megan, uh, David, myself, whoever wants to come to the process meetings, which the process meetings are held uh, at 6 p.m. or really one hour before, wherever General Assembly is supposed to be. Um, so this time we'll be moving into other business. Other business is when you can say whatever it is that you need to say. Uh, it's basically to get the conversation started, either for future proposals, working groups, if you feel like there are issues that need to be addressed, uh, et cetera, et cetera. There's 20 minutes total, you have a two minute time span. If at two minutes I will have to cut you off uh, with a point of process, 
you may be able to get back on stack if uh, if there's enough time at the end of other business. I'll punch you in the face. Sweet. <laughs> but non-violently. Um, do we have a time check? Ah, uh, my arm hurts. All right, it is now 8.27, so at 8.47, other business will be over. Uh, we'll now be taking stack for other business. What's your math? Oh, 8... All right, 8.48. Can I call it out? Do you oh, yeah, I'll call it out. I'm sorry. Uh, Lamar? Um, <coughs> Leroy? Abadian? Ron Allen, NBA? Lily? Billy? No, I'm not in. Who just after Lily? Uh, Billy? Yeah. Is there anyone else that would be like to place on be placed on Stack for other business? All right, then at this time, Stack for other business is closed. Stack is closed for other business. All right, the Stack reads Lamarcus, Leroy, David, Ron Allen, Lily, and Billy. Lamar. Lamar, I apologize. All right, Lamar. <clears throat> yeah, um, uh, I, th I think that uh, this should be more propaganda put out, you know, like put together, you know what I'm saying, a lot of like some writing or something like to be passed out because it's like virtually none. Um, I myself, um, I'm a writer, so if there's anyone else that's wow. right, that writes... Um, Mike check it, Oh, Mike check. Mike check! check. Uh, I propose, well, not propose, um, um, I feel, I feel that there should be there should be more written propaganda put out. More written propaganda out. I myself am a writer. I myself am a writer. And if there's any other writers, if there's any other writers, I'd like to I would like to get together and brainstorm on how get together and brainstorm on how. We could put out some literature, put out some some literature, literature. To, to pass around. Pass around. And, also, and also, if anyone has access, if anyone has access, has access to um, internet access or to type on, internet access to type on. as well as um, photocopy or a printer. Photocopy or a printer. Um, I, I like to um, get together and see what we can do with that. I like to get together and see what we can do with that. Thank you, Lamar. Uh, next on stack. Hey, I think that um, I think that you should go ahead. I think that you should. No, I don't need a mic check. I think that you should go ahead when you do business with another business. That's an opportunity for branding. You need to leave an Occupy Atlanta sign so people know that we do business there. When everybody walks by and go into that store, they know Occupy Atlanta is keeping them in. Business. Number two, don't worry about the signs. Get as many signs as you can. Because when you go into a neighborhood to stop foreclosure, it benefits the entire neighborhood. So, when you walk into a neighborhood, you can go to a neighbor and ask him, hey, can I put this sign in your yard? When we leave, we'll take the sign back with us. But if you want to keep it, just give us a donation. The signs pay for themselves. And if we don't get the money for the sign, we take it back and we reuse it. That's my comment. Thank you, Leroy. Next on stack is David. Um, um, in support of a progressive stack, I'd like to switch places with the last person on the stack. Um, I'm the last person? Okay, cool. You can switch. Okay, cool. Hello, I'm from the website team. One of the things that I've noticed is that the minutes for the GA uh, haven't necessarily been updated on the uh, website, so I feel that's an issue that we need to address as soon as possible because we want to have transparency. We want individuals who are not necessarily here at, at every GA to know what's going on, to what proposals are being proposed, and so forth. So if anyone has access to, to the proposals 
as of November 30th or so, up until now, it would be very much appreciated if you guys could give me access to those so they can be posted on the site. So we can ensure transparency. Next on stack is Ron. Ron? Oh, right here, hold on. I'll just go ahead, Dave. I'll, I'll start. So that's right. the okay, so next time. <laughs> um, okay, so I just wanted to say first, uh, oh, quick announcement from some people at this one event right now. Misty is wanting me to announce this. Um, there's something called The Day We Changed the World, and it's happening right now. It's about, it's, it's from six to nine. It's about, you know, Creating like creating enough love, or at least say, hang on, consciously choosing unconditional love over fear, and like getting together and trying to create this. It's happening nationally right now. Um, it's it's uh, at 17:30 Northeast Expressway. So if you can make it to that, it's going until nine o'clock. It's a third. Well, it's 8:30 right now. I'm sorry about that. So I just want to go ahead and make that announcement because I was asked to. So, but other than that, um, it's pretty cool. Hopefully, we'll do that again. Um, I also want to say I'm really tired of seeing political advertisement in people's yards. I am tired of driving through a neighborhood and seeing Obama or Ron Paul or any of these, or you Gingrich, I'm tired of seeing commercial <laughs> items for these quite frankly, for these assholes, to be honest with you. I'm tired of it, it depresses me. I wanna see things like foreclose on banks, not people. I wanna think, see things like, I believe in hope. I wanna see things like that in people's yards and we should be advertising more. And quite frankly, I think we should spend less time critiquing and putting down others' ideas, like not, and putting down other ideas and spending more action, please. I, I, it's great talking, but talking isn't going to get anything done, and we can sit and critique everything from every single point and angle all damn day. And I'm sorry to use that aggressive language, but it's like, I want to do things. I don't want to talk about the philosophical meaning behind what's going to happen if I put a poster on the side of a school. I don't give a damn. I'm going to put the poster on the side of a school. There needs to be more action. Less talk, more action. Communicate, for sure, but do things. Don't sit around and talk about it. Do it. Get it done. Get out there. Do it. I'm going to say it again. Get it done. And that's something I really, we should really focus on is more action. That was good to get out. Okay, so Ron, where is he? Uh, just um, wanted to announce this. Um, there's going to be an action tomorrow from 10 o'clock to 1 uh, p.m. at Congre Congressman Gingrey's office. Uh, Congressman, Congress has refused to pass uh, unemployment extension. That means next month, 1.6 million people will lose their sole source of income. So if Congress don't, Congress don't pass this. Um, there's a payroll tax cut. That's also um, that's also up for a vote. Congress refused to to have to vote on this. The Senate agreed. The Senate passed it. The U.S. House uh, is blocking. And so we want to have them move forward on this. So for those people who work and make less than fifty thousand dollars, you will automatically receive a tax increase come New Year's if you don't if they don't move this forward. For, for those that are in agreement with this, show up at Congressman uh, Gingrey's office. Was at ten o'clock to one p.m. We're working with labor, with other action groups, and for this to happen, it's going to be two. 219 Roswell Street, Marietta. If you have one more information, there, yeah, holler at me. Hey. Y'all don't like it? There, yeah, All right, next on stock is David. Thank you. Um, in my opinion, the purpose of a GA is to obtain consensus on major issues and to move forward based on the power of consensus. <coughs> and it thrills me to no end to see people's ideas fleshed out during consideration of a proposal, if it takes an extra while for all possible objections to be brought to the floor, brought to the brought to the GA and expressed so that we can, as we did, obtain full consensus, then the process works beautifully and I support it entirely. Thank you. All right, stack is closed. So it is. I mean I mean stack that means stack has been exhausted. Done. That's done. No. So it's eight thirty six. We have um, eleven we well no ten. 12, 12. Okay, five more minutes, so I'm gonna re reopen stack at this time. Uh, anybody else? Me. Jonah. Would anyone else like to be placed on stack, brother? Business. We still got 12 minutes. A lot of time to blow some hot air. Come on. Stack, brother. Business. We got 12 minutes. All right. So.
Last call? Alright. Can we uh, form a better circle wall as well, please? Yeah, can we please circle it up? Okay. Um, on stack, I have Kalen. Well, I have Jonah, Kalen, and myself. Stack so, is closed for other business. Alright, go ahead, Jonah. Okay, go ahead, Jonah. Um, comedy. Use humor. When we're doing actions and stuff, I would love to see more people being like goofy and fun and you know and all kinds of cool stuff because it really helps to engage the audience. And remember, the whole world is watching. The whole world is watching. Let's give them a show. You know, yeah. it's been talked about over the past. Yeah, you know, let's be fucking clowns. Oh, okay, okay. I you got know? a clown suit already. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Seriously, um, seriously. No, but um. Yeah, we've got some great ideas cooking up. Uh, we would love to start more working groups uh, to kind of like think of great ideas. Just doing protests where we attract a lot of attention, whether it be police attention or media attention or whatever it may be, and just acting out. It'd be awesome. Yes. Or even doing stuff in crowded areas in general. You know, we don't necessarily have to have police surrounding us in order to be funny. But, um... Alright. Alright, All right, next on stack is Kalen. Hi, guys. Hey, this is what I'm going to be doing every time I'm at GA at the end. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, Lily's going to go first, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, for this one, I'll go first. All right. Um, real quick, I want to say something. Uh, there is such a thing as overanalyzation. I just wanted to point that out. We do not need to overanalyze every single thing. Communication is key. It is really important. However, we have been overanalyzing a lot, and that has been negating, that's been, that's been taking away from action. It's been counterproductive in a lot of ways. However, communication is really important. But not don't over don't overanalyze. Um, as far as what Jonah was saying with sadomasochism, I just wanted to go ahead and clarify that real quick. The sadomasochism is so broad that can actually include a person arresting someone else dressed in a in a clown uniform. So if you want to dress up as a clown when we do actions in the park, cop arrest you, pretend you like it. It's illegal. Sadomasochism. <laughs> sadomasochism. So, and also go out that as far as being fun, there's a whole list of really stupid laws that never got taken away, like walking around with ice cream cone in your back pocket on Sunday, <laughs> um, tying a drive up to a street post. We should do all these things one day just oh for fun, because it'd be awesome. Um, oh, all right. So no. Um, so community search. Um, also to go again real quick. Mic check. Mic check. Thank you. I just want to center that again. Community service is really important. Foreclosure, does winning back that house is a big victory. It got us a lot of people back. We should be doing a lot more community service. Nice things for people. We've, we've Doing actions is awesome. And we've mobilized, like, occupying the park and gained us the foundation for a really big revolution. Now what we should do is be giving back to the people we're fighting for. It's going to gain a lot of numbers and show people that we're taking positive action. Not just doing ridiculous things, which is also awesome, but doing positive outreach as well. Community service is really important. Going off of that, homeless outreach meeting, for those of you who know like what I've been talking about, I'm planning a meeting for that next week. It'll be on Facebook. Invite everyone you possibly can. We really need to do outreach with the homeless. It'll be a great community building project. Um, March 15th is an international anti-police brutality day. There will be a meeting for this to start planning next weekend. Mike check. Mike, Mike check. check. There will be a meeting. There, there will be a meeting next week. Next week. In reference. In reference. To March 15th. To March 15th. Which is an international anti-police brutality day. Which is an international anti-police brutality day. This is a chance. This is a chance to plan. To, to plan. plan. Diversity of tactics. Diversity, diversity of tactics. To incorporate all of Occupy. To incorporate all of Occupy. First time. First time. First time. We will have a knee-jerk reaction. We will have a knee-jerk reaction. Knee -jerk reaction. And we can actually plan and flesh it out. We can actually plan and flesh it out. It's a really good opportunity. Really good opportunity it's a really good opportunity to bring all of us together. To bring all of us together. On a controversial issue. On a controversial issue. Please attend the meeting. Please attend the meeting. Maybe next weekend. Maybe next weekend. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. And you'll find it on Facebook. Hopefully it will be, I don't know where it's going to be yet, but it will be on Facebook and we will plan that out. Um, we'll see. Hopefully we'll see what it is. And my last point is we should really incorporate the GA more. It's becoming to fall, it's beginning to fall apart. This is a nervous system for like the central nervous system of our movement. Please come to it every single time we have it. Express your ideas, communicate with each other. Please come. Hey, Mic check. Mic check. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do, do this. Every time I'm at GA. Every time at GA. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready?
technically we have six more minutes, but that'd probably be good enough to close it on. <laughs> <laughs> Feel good? All right. Awesome. Uh, this now adjourns General Assembly. Uh, we'll be doing Soapbox next for anybody that wants to participate. Soapbox, you can express anything you want for as long as you want. Oh, no rules, no regulations, whatever. Uh, sometimes people stay, take stack. I say fuck stack. Do whatever you want to do.